Went and got a haircut yesterday, and one of the nice things about getting a haircut is some quiet time, you can turn the phone off, but you'd like to get a nap if possible, and it's not really physically possible, but when, when you get a haircut, you have to keep your head up, because so the barber can cut it, you can't kind of Yeah, they, do don't, they don't really like that. Right. Kind of messes up their whole thing that they so do. So we thought we could come up with a product, Dan, some type of head vice, something akin to this, where you could sit up, and then when the haircut is in midstream, you could just nod off. <laughs> and look at that, the head stays upright. He can cut as his leaf. That works very can. well. Everybody wins. I don't think I want to fall asleep in a barber chair. Really? No. I'd like to keep my eye on what's going on. Oh, that's the money maker. I mean, yeah, I mean. We are just average guys. I had a cousin who went for a haircut and thought that the barber said, do you want some water? So he's like, sure, sure. And he actually asked him if he wanted some more cut. And he ended up uh, nearly bald, and he just totally had a destroyed haircut thinking while he was waiting for his beverage to arrive. How do you get water and more cut? He had some thick accent, want some water? He thought he said, <laughs> he thought he said do you want some water? He goes, sure, and then he just kept going. Wait, wait, going. wait, how thick is your accent? Where are we? Are we in <laughs> Russia? He wants more cut.